Hey, what's going on? I got some zines to review. This episode is sort of the Rachel Lee Carmen show, um, who does the zine show and tell. She sent me three issues just sort of out of the blue, which is super awesome. I want to start by showing these. Um, with each issue, uh, she sent me a sheet of paper. If, you, if you're sending your zine up for review, take notes. This is like a little thing. Tells the title, tells the issue, tells how much it costs, tells contact info. Um, super, super handy when you're mailing your zines off. Do a little one of these in there and, and help the reviewers out. Okay, I've uh, never read Show and Tell before. Um, she sent me issues six, seven, and eight. Issue number six didn't really seem to have a theme, uh, real obviously, but the theme is sort of winter and uh, surviving in the winter and surviving the depression of winter. Um, let me start by showing the, the zine is a half size zine, but she did a legal size uh, cover, which allowed her to do like, see how that's like folded over and glued and she has a little table of contents and then in the back, some little things here. That's a nice little detail. I appreciate that. Um, Cause I know that, I don't know how many she did, but I know that's a pain in the ass. Um, her style is very interesting. Um, I'd never read show and tell before. Uh, she has sort of a mix of photos, drawings, writing, typing. Um, I, I really like her drawing style a lot. Sort of the way it's put together reminds me a little bit visually of uh, List by Ramsey Everyday Pants. Um, I like, she, like she has a little drawing of like a coffee shop and everything's labeled. Um, she. I never do this and she's really good at it. She uses photos and the, but then she draws around the photos, writes around the photos. Um, my favorite thing in this was there's a whole thing about Patti Smith and, and sort of uh, her discovering Patti Smith and learning about Patti Smith. And Patti Smith's awesome, so that was very cool. That's a nice drawing. She has nice handwriting and you can actually read her handwriting, so that's, that's good. Um, cool cool issue issue number seven childhood uh i like this one a lot i'm a sucker for like diving into memories um once again she did like the little uh sorry i didn't mean to, the content that's great um she's got once again look there photos and then drawn over drawn around the photos um it's a it's a really like unique style. I don't really see a whole lot of it ever done like this. Um, stories from her childhood, stories about, um, yeah, about every, about all the friends that she knew, all the friends she grew up with. Cool little drawing of a boom box, um, songs from my childhood. Uh, she has sort of all, like, it's like a rundown list of everyone. This is my, my favorite part in this. You get to the middle and she has a letter size page in the middle. So you fold it out and then you fold it out more and then it's a map of her neighborhood uh, when she was a kid. And so it's got like, you know, this is where this friend lives, this is where this friend lives, you know, this is the part of the street that always flooded, there was lots of worms, this is the German people's house, this is Matt's house. Um, I think that's really cool and I really liked it a lot. Um, talks about blackberries. This is mo mostly handwritten, some photos. Uh, Cool, good, fun writing makes you feel like you're there. Um, the last issue she she sent me, issue number eight, um, painted in cover. That's a nice little touch. The whole thing is letter size. A few more pages. Um, this is this is uh, all about spirituality. And here, <laughs> check this out. Th I gotta be honest. This sort of intimidated me. That's like a lot of lines going in all different directions. This is what Rachel's brain looks like, or her soul maybe. This is Rachel's soul. It looks sort of confusing. But actually, when you start reading it, it's really fun because you can read along the little lines, and then this goes to here, and this goes to here. And it's sort of like you don't really have to read it in any particular order. It's just like boom, 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 boom. It's kind of like a lot of thoughts all just like splatted out on the page, which uh, once you get past being intimidated by it, it's actually really fun and easy to read and you just keep reading more and more and more of it. Uh, there were a few uh, articles in here that were a little bit long for me, um, but you know, it's spirituality. It's a lot to talk about. Uh, she talks about Catholicism. Um, she talks about a lot of things. There was an interview with an artist, 
So that was cool because um, I think art is a very spiritual process. Uh, she has she has oh a whole thing about the the evil eye, um, you know. Well, you have to read it to understand. Dream catchers, all about you don't know lots of different things. How to make lentil soup, <laughs> which is good for the soul, I guess. Uh, cool zine. I've never read Show and Tell before, and Rachel, I give you thumbs up. Um, you're a hardworking person. These zines uh, take a lot of time to put together, a lot of time to draw, uh, and and they're good. They're fun to read. I mm, probably the childhood issue is my favorite issue seven. But issue eight was really good too. It's nice reading three in a row because um, you have a style and I can see the style developing and it's continuing to develop and that's really cool. Um, but each issue is its own issue. So uh, check that out. Um, one last quick plug. I wrote a zine called The Dinner. It's fiction. It has a truck driver, a prostitute, a guy with a mullet, and a Jehovah's Witness. And they all have dinner together. Um, if you're interested, check it out on Etsy. And I will also put up, make, I'll make sure you get all Rachel's stuff up there. Um, that's it. Peace.